I am not forgetting the leaders of the church. You are so wonderful. Wonderfully made in the image of God. Thank you for supporting the ministry. Thank you for supporting the church. Thank you for supporting every program of the church. May God bless you. I say, may God bless you. That you are who shall be bigger heaven. God will bless you, devil. Hallelujah. The president, the choir, the women of the church as my group as me that is a man. Because a panda it was mine. I was not going to stand before all the people here. Because you women, God has used you mightily to bow me down unto this end by the grace of God that I may even stand before you. For me to be looking the way I am looking, I am not forgetting my wife. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 This God is so wonderful. You know, and there's a my my left one. And the Bible said, I know there are some people who say, at behind every man's success, there is a woman. At behind every success, there is a woman. No, not behind every man's success. Beside every man's success, because you came from the day. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Amen. I am still here to continue with the same thing that our Father I've just introduced. Amen. You may take a seat because I'm taking a little time for me to read the scripture that we are reading today. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. On Friday, we talked about something different and uh, I believe to those who are not here by the grace of God, I'll try to touch a little few things of the things that we spoke about. Amen. On Friday, we spoke about divine wisdom. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Divine wisdom. And we elaborated divine wisdom. Tonight, come by divine wisdom in a different uh, way of understanding. And I believe that we are still learning about the same. Amen. Amen. We are learning differently because we want to understand what kind of wisdom does God guarantee or He has permitted. Amen. 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 And I believe everyone in this place is one of our own. Amen. Amen. We are children of God. We are here to worship who has brought us together in this place. And this God is so marvelous, very wonderful. He has made us in a way that no man can understand. It is only His wisdom that understands itself. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We said divine wisdom in this generation, we would call it, it is a solution from liberation. Amen. 
Amen. And I believe uh, we even translated the, the same uh, phrase of the way that, that is solution from liberation. A solution from liberation is kupesa mayanko uchoka kuniko bisa. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ngati unga peseko ma answers unga peseko mayanko muri vintu vamene vili munga nipo bisika then that is what we call wisdom. Amen. In mathematics, uh, when I was in school, we used to learn about something that uh, uh, it used to confuse me the most when we are talking about algebraic expressions uh, and equations where you will find somebody writing on the chalkboard uh, saying, can you uh, evaluate or uh, can you solve this kind of mathematics? Uh, you, you, you find that somebody writes 3 to the power x is equal to 9a and some sort of those kind of questions. Amen. But for, for you to understand that, there must be some kind of wisdom that has to be used so that you can know why is it adding to the power 3 and to the power x or something divided by a or b, such kind of things. You, 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 you must have some kind of wisdom. Amen. If you don't have that wisdom, you will see as if it is just foolishness. Amen. That kind of mathematics is, is foolishness to a person who doesn't understand it, who doesn't have the knowledge about it. Amen. Amen. So wisdom, divine wisdom, is a solution that comes out of liberation. Amen. And this thing, it should be experienced by everyone in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. If you do not have Christ in you, you cannot have the wisdom that you require. Hallelujah. That ulibe Yesu sunga peze isinzebu zamene mulungu anane ngelamu ziko zamene anane ngelamu mutu zamene anane ngelamu chitu chitu chomu sechamene chitu pasi kola pansi. Amen. It only takes Uja Mutu when many that recognize the presence of Jesus Christ in his life, the power of Jesus Christ in his life, the wonderful wisdom of Jesus Christ that is the person who many angazime if you think to my there. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 A wisdom, divine wisdom is also something that is, uh, the Bible says, you need a quick understanding. Take time to listen and a quick understanding in everything that you are doing. That is wisdom. If you listen very well from what the scriptures in the Bible elaborates or explains, then Uzasimabuti, this is what I require to be having such kind of wisdom. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But today I want to talk about something else. Uh, wisdom is so much in the scriptures. That is the reason why we cannot just stick to one kind of wisdom. We need to understand different kinds of wisdom that is elaborated in the Bible. Amen. These are the scriptures that we we, we normally refer ourselves when we want to understand about wisdom. Amen. Today I want to talk about uh, the power. Amen. Amen. The power of wisdom. The power of wisdom from God. Hallelujah. When you read the Bible in the book of Proverbs, chapter number 4, verses number 7, 
Shall we just read that scripture quickly? Shall we stand before we, I, we, we continue with what we are talking about? We need to understand some key points from the Bible. We are reading from Proverbs chapter number 4. chapter number 4 verses number 7 we read in the name of Jesus if you are there shout a bigger amen. amen Amen. if you are not there just say wait for me so that we can wait for you we are not rushing because we require wisdom uh, we need that kind of wisdom so that everybody can understand hallelujah amen the Bible reads, uh, as the Bible says, the beginning of wisdom is this. The beginning of wisdom is this. Wisdom, though it is costing all you have, get understanding, cherish her and she will exhort you and bless her and she will honor you. Hallelujah. Amen. There is another version that I would like to understand from my daddy's version. Uh, he will read in the name of Jesus. He's reading for us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us read in the name of Jesus. Yes. Uh, Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 the Bible says wisdom is the principal thing wisdom is the principal thing it is some kind of power it is some kind of knowledge it is some kind of everything that we require continue man of God therefore get wisdom and with all you're getting get understanding oh yes Exalt her and she shall promote you. She shall bring you to honor when you do embrace her. Amen. Amen. We may take our seats. Wisdom, it is a principal thing. It is a principal thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If wisdom is a principal thing, then wisdom requires principal men to understand and get the wisdom, the knowledge that we require in this generation. Somebody say amen. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. If wisdom is a principle, and if wisdom can be in blessed and it can bring promotion, then wisdom is a power. Hallelujah. Amen. It only takes somebody who has got authority to elevate someone. Amen. 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 It only takes someone who is in the higher office to adopt one who is on the lower office and give them promotion. Meaning that wisdom, it is a principle that can elevate you, that can prosper you, that can give you the ability to do extraordinary things. If you do not have that wisdom, then I bet you, you cannot do anything in life. Soon I said to Chief Johnson, because Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If, if at all, 
wisdom is a principle, uh, then it is a key to the throne of God. Amen. Amen. If I say it is a key, it is a key. Ni makizi yena ngu Ya nene ya masiku Lako matozi ya kuti Unga yende kumwama Hallelujah Amen. Hallelujah Amen. Without Wisdom Of understanding The principles of God You cannot Go to heaven But remain A Christian Hallelujah. Amen. You'll be calling yourself a Christian. You'll be calling yourself a prayer warrior. You'll be calling yourself, you can do anything in the church. You can even help out those who are in need. You can, whatever that you can do that the Bible explains that you should be as a Christian, you can do it. But without having the principal key to go to heaven, without having the principal key, which is the wisdom, you cannot enter into heaven. Hallelujah. 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 God is requiring some people to have such kind of wisdom and understand that he is the only one who can give you that key to the throne of God. If anyone believes that, shout just a bigger amen. amen. I believe everyone knows that it is only God who can give you the keys to the throne of heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Wisdom, it, if, if, if wisdom is a principle, then I should say it is another force. Hallelujah. Amen. It is another force of direction. If you have wisdom, then this principle, it shall operate in your life. The force behind the direction of God for you to do everything, for you to be humble. Hallelujah. Kuti unkale meek, unkale humble, unkale o siwa ichini chapuino, ichini cho ipa, there must be some kind of force that is pushing you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There must be some kind of force. If that force is coming, just imagine a vehicle is stuck at the railways. Amen? Amen. Moto kayangala stuck. Panjanjai. Paja panjanjai. Paja moto kayangala stuck. Yazima chate. Pame yazima paja. Then you, 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 you hear the siren or you hear a wood, a, 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 a train coming from afar, Chandechi train, Uruko Chireisa, Boop! Then you want to call him in a parrot. Now, you can watch what time There will be some kind of force that will come in you. Whether you are alone, you will try the level best to push that car. Could you choke him? Amen. 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 Same with us who are called by the name of being a Christian. There is some kind of force that pushes us. Even if they, you, you find yourself in a way that you are not supposed to be, you find you, yourself in a place where you are not supposed to be, you find yourself in a, a, a manner where people are doing things that you are not supposed to be doing, there is a force that pushes you to come out. And this is the wisdom of God. This wisdom will definitely push you away. The force of God, it will move you out. 
of that problem. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Even if you find yourself in a situation where nobody can help you, nobody can give you. There is only one who I can survive in. There is only one who I can trust at this time. There is only one force that can help me at this time. It is only the force of the wisdom of God that can push you so that you can stand on your feet and come out of those problems that you are passing through. Come out of those sickness that you are passing through. You come out of that poverty you are passing through. Without that force, you cannot come out. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Then uh, behind the same force, there is uh, there is direction. The direction that uh, always strengthens uh, someone. Amen. Remember when you read in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter number ten, verse ten, the Bible says, "A man has has that strength. You have that strength." To occupy or to speak on your own. That I need the wisdom of God. I need to stand by myself. I need to know who I am. I need to be in a place. Because the wisdom of God operates in a way that no one can understand. But only you can understand it. Hallelujah. Amen. I know speaking and faith. Nzeru zakuru Zima sebeza chape kuri uja kumitu Wamene azakuwa nisa kusili vera zija nzeru Sisi nga sebeza kuri uja kumitu wamene sazi ziva But only kuri uja kumitu wamene azazi wajizi nzeru Nzeru zakuru Zameni kuna kusebeza Haleluya Mengeo de obas May God help us. Ecclesiastes 10 verse 10. The Bible says, the Bible says, if the earth is dull and its age and sharpened, most strength is needed, but skill will bring success. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Come with Kakarako punta, but chamele chizafunika, kuti kanole kuzafunika nsimbi pansi. Yei? Nsimbi pansi. If it's a knife at all, tima kipa kona knife, damba kuhino wala pansi. Yei? Kwa, kwa, kwa. But it is not everyone who can sharpen that knife. I can give you the same knife to sharpen it, you will fail. But that one who has got the direction sharpening the knife shall sharpen it very well. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Sharpening a knife, it takes someone with the wisdom of how to sharpen it. Mena mama tenga chape na hivi bafa kuhino Kwe, 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 kwe Ah, ya no Ujumi na kuchape tomato Ya punta futi But that one who has got the knowledge Your knowledge We will know which angles To take when chape in the night Ngati ama tengera chape kulevi chukweka kweka Baza ama tengera chape kulevi chukweka No, nika choka haka Ujika kwewe kuta ni hafta wanu Ujiwa mena lipe si janze Asano na kumere pata Na kupunta futi Ibuere ibuende This is the same wisdom That most of us Christians today Are We want to be on fire Every time We 
want to be prayer warriors, but we do not understand who are we worshiping. Where is the wisdom of prayer we are offering? Hallelujah. We need to understand how do I become a prayer warrior? How do I reason with God the way I am? Because when I pray, something must happen. Hallelujah. Something must happen. When I pray, something must happen. When I stand to worship God, something must happen. But if you don't accumulate the wisdom of God, the power of God, you don't invoke the power of the Holy God. I'm telling you, you will pray and pray and you pray until no more. You can even lose your breath. You can even lose your voice. You can even lose, you, 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 you can even uh, inquire or you, you can have a heart break. You can even have baby because you, you, you do not know where is the pattern that I have to bless a baby baby. Which that will invoke when I am praying so that things must start changing in my life. Things must start pushing me from where I am to another level. If you understand, shall it be Amen. When you speak about divine wisdom, it is something that I have failed to understand in, in, in so many ways. You know, wisdom is sufficiency which is equal to godly sufficiency. Hallelujah. Wisdom is sufficiency which is equal to godly sufficiency. Meaning that if you have wisdom of God, then the glory of God shall be upon you. If you understand the scriptures, if you understand the wisdom that is in the Bible, then the glory of God shall be upon you. But if you have wisdom deficiency, even the glory of God shall be deficiency in your life. Let me make it simpler so that we can understand. When umuananga ungamulemu pere fiyakuri abuino, you are giving your your, your your child a very nutritious food at a light time at a light position even babies I do understand that uh, when you have a baby there are some position of how to feed a baby women will understand that amen you are feeding a baby but whatever whatever Today's of change. We eat because the Bible says the word of God is the bread of life. Amen. So when we come to change, we come to eat and be fed with the Holy Spirit, with the Word of God and everything. But at the times to us, we do not have the position, a good position. Amen. Hallelujah. So when you have a wisdom sufficiency, you have a good amount of word, you have got a good amount of wisdom, you have got a good understanding of the knowledge of the things of God, you can never 
never face deficiency. What is deficiency? Deficiency, I'll take it to the same. That's why I'll take it. When one and that were moved with an hour was shocked, one on a cow in a puno puno, or Vimba Vimba, I come one a patent to one to a couple of joy night. But you have a cup you understand that there is sickness in that child. Amen. Amen. Naka at a come one a come in a cow in a foot called
Africa, Kalekona Mipa. You cannot acquire wisdom when you are weak. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Daddy, you can give us that one. You can give us that one. Daniel chapter number 12, verse. Number 3. Verse 5. The Bible says. 3, 3, 3. Daniel 12, 3. The Bible says. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. And they that turn many to the rushes. They that turn many to the righteousness as the stars of the heaven and the ever. For but thou, O Daniel, shoot up the words and seal the book, even the time of the end. Many shall run to many shall run to and fro, and the knowledge shall be increased. Five. Then I, Daniel, looked, and behold, there was, and there stood other two, the one on this side of the bank of the river, and the other on the on that side of the bank of the river. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Wisdom is the light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know most of us we have forgotten about what our father taught us in this place. But I still remember that he said, wisdom is the light. If you don't have the light in you, you cannot come across any dream that you can interpret. Hallelujah. Amen. You cannot come across any revelation that you can interpret. This is what Daniel was told. He was told that if you have the light of God, you are obliged to interpret dreams, to understand and acquire knowledge of knowing what is good, what is bad. You will tell people who lie to you to come and consult, to ask, to inquire. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There are only power that can come unto you for those people to come to you. It is the wisdom that you can have. If you have the wisdom of God in you, then people will start coming. They will start coming. And if at all you have that wisdom, I'm, I'm only someone in this place. If God grants you that wisdom, please don't misuse the wisdom of God. Amen. It is here I spoke last Sunday that they are some kind of wisdom. I talked about the four kind of wisdom that we have. Most of us, when we are integrated, we are intelligent, we are smart, we start misusing that wisdom. We start misusing it by giving even false information to the people who do not know about what they are talking about. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Is it making sense? Amen. Is it making sense? Amen. If I am not making sense, you say, no, it's not making sense. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There is nothing that wins the world like wisdom does. Because wisdom comes from above. There is nothing that can win. I'm a soldier of this one day. Could you have one day? If you have a son of a son, could you have one day? Could you have one day for a person of a son? They cannot win the wisdom of God. Even those people who do not have hands, who are not harmed, they can win those who have got a lot of hands. Because if they are 
deposit the wisdom of God, they will be in power of direction. And the direction of God is the one that makes people to win in life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you want to win in life, you want your business to do well in you, in your endeavors. If you want your family to be known, inquire wisdom. Hallelujah. Amen. Inquire wisdom. But there is no devil here on earth. I repeat. There is no devil here on earth that can surpass wisdom. Why do I say so? The devil, he only have three things. He only come to steal, to destroy, and to kill. But the wisdom of God comes to build, comes to manufacture, comes to elevate, comes to reprocreate, there are so many things about wisdom. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you want to put the devil under your feet, devil be papiat. Why not support him? Why to be a maker? You need to find someone to carry him. Now who are you? To find someone to carry him. You need to find someone to carry him. I told you, ah ah. All you need is the wisdom. Why am I saying God has given me the power to step on scorpions and serpents? If I reach that kind of stage for me to step on scorpions and serpents, if you understand that God is working in some kind of wisdom, some kind of that is forcing. Just imagine how come there is something that when you throw a stone in the air, it has to come back. But the wisdom of God is saying, if I go, I will go and prepare a place for you. And it never came back. If it was the force of gravity, it was going to come down. But the wisdom of God is different. Amen. The wisdom of God is to allow supernatural things to happen. What are those supernatural things? They are some diseases that happen. They just broke out. Anyhow, but there is a God who says, no, it is just a matter of time. This will pass. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is just a matter of time. My father told me on Friday that it is just a matter of time. Even the phrase that we are passing through today, even the hardship that we are passing through today, it is just a matter of time. Because the wisdom of God is at hand. The wisdom of God is working. The power of wisdom is upon us. In this generation, I came to encourage someone. If you acquire the wisdom of God, then God is going to grant you what you do not know. That is hidden in the spiritual realm of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even the things that have been spoken about you, the things that they have spoken about your life, in your future, they will never happen because you will understand and have the wisdom that where I am going to step, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When it happened, one Goliath, all 
all the credit did not go to David. It went to Saul, King Saul. Because he was the army commander of that kingdom. He was the king. Hallelujah. So when you have the wisdom of God, all the great comes back to us. Amen. Amen. For that sick in your life for so many years. For that poverty being shut. When God fights for you, it is not Him who will be victorious, but the one who will be victorious, it is you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is speaking. In this generation, there is so much value. There is so much value to God. I hope. And I pray to God that in the the power came to me. I came to tell somebody in this place that there is power in wisdom. There is power in wisdom. When you understand who you are. That is the first thing. When you understand who you are, when you understand your grounds, when you understand what you are supposed to do and what you are not supposed to do, you will know what kind of wisdom you will need to require from God. When you understand the situation that you are passing through, when you understand that your children when you understand your work, when you understand your business, you will know what kind of wisdom you have to require from God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. business. you are business. Siku wana chambe mustafu wape mpira mulungu ni pase nikoni mpamu. Ya kutina ine, nizipinda mulako viroto. Na yu wapa kupi mpira nikuna nizipinda mulako viroto. You have your own request. You have your own ambitions. You have your own desires. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those desires, those ambitions, those careers, those careers you wish your children to have, it is the wisdom that you need to inquire from God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What do you see? What do you see? What do you see about your life? What do you see about the change of God of mercy? What do you see about your business? What do you see? I will repeat these words once more again. The, the ego sees from afar. It can take miles to see the fish that is in the water. 
and calculate the distance from where it is until the distance of the fish when it is coming up so that they will meet at the same point. Hallelujah. When you see a cheetah start chasing a prey, it has already calculated the distance from where it is and the way or the moves or the speed of its prey. Have you ever calculated that in your life? Have you ever calculated that in your business? Some of us, when we are doing business, we even put in a 10,000 kwacha and you say, tomorrow I will have 11,000 kwacha. You forget that your only money that you have from the 10,000 kwacha that you had is 1,000 kwacha as profit. But you will calculate it in all and you say, ah, na paka sana inda rama bali kwa talebeli pi. You forget that the owner of that business, it is not you, it is the money that has been put in that business. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What am I trying to say? It is the effort, the force that you put in the things of God. That is when God can give you the wisdom to operate in the force of operating in your Christian life. Hallelujah. May God bless His way. God bless you. Let Him guarantee you the wisdom, the divine wisdom of understanding the scriptures, the divine wisdom of understanding your children, the divine wisdom of understanding every circle of your lives. May God guarantee you that in the name of Jesus. May God guarantee you that in the name of Jesus. May God bless you all.